Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. I'm Kelvin Hepner with Real Agriculture and Farmers Across Canada this year of access to a, a new tool for harvest management, a plant growth regulator called Chlormaquat Chloride, or that's the active ingredient. The brand name is Manipulator. And uh, joining us to, uh, to talk about what we've learned so far about Manipulator this year, Ann Kirk is the cereal crop specialist with Manitoba Agriculture. And Anne, when we look at uh, the experience, timing it here in, in 2018, what have we learned? Uh, so Manipulator is registered uh, on spring spring wheat, durum wheat, and winter wheat uh, for uh, either a single application or a split application. So the timing would be uh, for a split application, the two leaf stage to, er to the beginning of stem elongation, and then the one to two node stage. And then for a single application, it's the one to two node stage. And this year, with how hot it's been, uh, the wheat quickly moved through those stages. Yes, the wheat would have moved those growth stages pretty quickly. So, you know, really being on top of scouting, if you were thinking about applying manipulator, would have been important. Mm -hmm. So also, it's also been dry, which means we're seeing less height in our, our wheat crop in, in many areas than normal. Maybe not uh, the ideal year for, uh, or kind of the picture perfect year for using a plant growth regulator like this? Yes, the intended use of manipulator is as a, a harvest management aid. So to um, produce wheat with shorter, thicker and stronger stems to prevent lodging. Uh, if we do see wheat that's already pretty short and you don't think has a big risk of lodging, then it's probably not the year to try it out, um, as we're not really as concerned with the height of the wheat. It's also not meant to be applied on, on wheat that's in a, a stress situation, right? Yeah, the label for manipulator states to avoid application uh, if the wheat is under stress, so that would be drought stress or excess moisture stress. Uh, so this year in many areas of the province and across the prairies, we are seeing wheat that is drought stressed. Um, and as you know, a plant growth regulator is a hormone and we may not know all of the consequences of applying this plant growth regulator under um, stressful conditions, it's best to avoid it if, if you think that your wheat uh, you know, is under drought stress. Okay, so in general, have we seen much response to manipulator this year? Uh, I've only heard of a couple of people that have applied manipulator uh, and they so far haven't seen any differences in height in their crop. Uh, I don't really have a good picture of what's been happening across the prairies though. Uh, in 2015 and 2016, Manitoba Agriculture did run some trials looking at manipulator at some of the crop diversification centers. Uh, and in those two years, we found that manipulator resulted in average yield or height decrease of seven centimeters. Uh, so we did see a height decrease uh, in general with manipulator application, and that was under good conditions. And so this year might be an anomaly, but it's certainly a learning experience when it comes to re reacting to the conditions and, and understanding how this tool works. Right, and I think it's important for farmers to know that this is a tool that they have in their toolbox and to consider uh, the environmental conditions and the agronomic conditions when it might be best used. So that would be under, say, a higher yield potential situation where you're applying higher rates of nitrogen or we are expecting lodging in your crop, then manipulator may be a good fit. All right.